Hi, this is Christian Cantrell, and today I want to demo a secure plugin architecture for Adobe Air applications. We've had a lot of developers ask us if it was possible to write secure uh, plugins for Adobe Air apps, and although we always thought it was possible, I decided to go ahead and put together a proof of concept in order to provide some documentation, some sample code. This is an application called Pluggable Search Central, which is a modification of an application I wrote last year. The first version of the application allows you to search three destinations, including your local hard drive using Spotlight, Google, and Wikipedia, uh, all from one application, which was interesting, but it was kind of limiting since it only supported three kinds of searches. This version is extensible through a secure plugin architecture, so you can install any kind of search experience you want. I have two plugins installed now. I have the Google News uh, search plugin, and I also have the, uh, the Wikipedia plugin. So I'll go ahead and show you how it works. I'll search for something that's likely to be in the news, like Toyota. And here's the search results on Google News for Toyota. And then I'll go over to Wikipedia and search Wikipedia for Toyota. And I get the uh, Toyota article right here. So now, uh, let's say I want to search another resource, uh, like Twitter. Got to include Twitter in every, uh, every demo. So I'll install the Twitter search plugin. And uh, this time I'll search for something different. I'll give Toyota a little break. And so here's all the uh, current chatter about uh, Jeeps on Twitter. So what's interesting about this architecture isn't just that I can install plugins, but that I can do it securely. Um, I'll show you the process of installing the YouTube plugin um, in a little bit more detail here. Um, actually, let me show you one, one thing here also that um, Plugins can be installed from URLs, um, or they can be installed from from uh, you know from your local hard drive. So I'm just installing them locally, which is a little bit easier. And um, I'll do the YouTube plugin here. Now it's loading the plugin, um, beginning the signature validation, and this is the result. Are you sure you want to install this plugin? The plugin is called YouTube. The publisher is Cantrell Media Company. The publisher's identity is verified, and here's a short description to help you decide whether you want to install it or not. You can cancel if you don't want to install it, in which case it's deleted, um, or you can go ahead and click install, and it gets installed, and you're ready to search. So here are a bunch of cheap videos. Um, so this is, what, uh, this is what it looks like if you start to install a plugin that's self-signed. You get a slightly different experience. So are you sure you want to install this plugin? We know it's YouTube. This time the publisher is unknown. Um, the publisher's identity is not verified. And so you may want to think twice about installing this one. And you can just click cancel, at which point it's deleted. And there's no harm done. Um, and this is what it looks like if you try and install a plugin that's not signed at all, which is completely unsupported in this application. It's considered corrupt. It says corrupt plugin. This plugin is missing the signature.xml file, so it can't be installed. So how does all this work? Um, it's a combination of uh, using ADT to package and sign plugins, um, an error API called the XML Signature Validator, and a few other techniques, which are described in detail in this post. Um, this can all be done right now with the current version of error. I'm not using any new or undocumented APIs or anything like that. So everything you need to, uh, to build your own uh, secure um, plugin architecture for your Adobe Air applications is available right now. For detailed instructions and sample code, check out the rest of the post. Thanks for watching.